Hey, what's up, everyone? Good morning, especially on, like, say, well, the most beautiful, well, Tuesday, no, Wednesday night, to be exact. So, anyways, I'm currently, like, say, well, I'm looking outside, and I'm actually noticing, like, say, well, this full moon being out here, and plus, I'm actually, well, I'm also noticing, like, say, well, a bunch of stars out here, especially around, like, say, well, here, here above this, here above these, um, the sky is here tonight. I mean, above these, above these skies tonight, so don't want to make things too confused. So, weather, let me see, so right now the weather out here is like, say, you know, oh, well, let me see. Well, the weather out here is basically cold, but not very chilly like, you know, like it was, you know, the last time. When I actually did this, um, when I actually did a video recording anyway. So anyways, uh, let me try and zoom in on this moon here. Okay. Where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. Well, at least it's not exactly a half moon out here. So anyways, I was, let's see, so anyways, I was, um, watching YouTube just yesterday. Yesterday on a Tuesday afternoon night. And, um, and so I was, let me see, so I was curious about, you know, about the, um, the PlayStation 1, PS1 Classic Edition, so I checked it out on YouTube, and much to my own surprise, I mean, it's amazing they actually have, like, say, you know, well, you know, all 20 games, one of them actually includes, uh, Metal Gear Solid, the other one is, like, well, and plus the other is actually Siphon Filter, the first game. I think, let me see, which one was next? I know Twisted Metal was one of them. I know Twisted Metal is one of them. Possibly Crash Bandicoot, I think. Spyro the Dragon. But here's one main thing. I mean, it's cool. Here's, yeah, but like I said, but, um, like I said, but I was checking out the PS1 Classic Edition, and man, the console, however, is like, you know, I mean, just look, I mean, just take, I mean, just know take a look at the miniature size of this thing anyway it's about the size of like say what the nes classic edition as well as um the super nintendo snes classic edition as well too i mean let me see i mean it's brilliant they actually have like say you know while um hold up i mean it's brilliant they actually have like say you know well all 20 game i mean all 20 games together but but no Mega Man 8, Mega Man X4, Mega Man X5, or Mega Man X6. Honestly, I was kind of hoping they could have had, like, say, you know, well, you know, much more than that. They could have at least, like, say, you know, added, like, say, well, you know, a few other games onto the PS1 um, Classic Edition. Despite how small it is. I mean, the console itself. But it's a good thing I actually have, like, say, well, the original um, PS1 console. Still, I can't, still, I just can't believe it. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. I'm trying to get a much more clear review here. Okay, there it is. So, what I'm going to do next after this um, video recording on this full moon, I'm going to, like, say, well... Resume to where I left off on part three because I got to finish up working on um, the trans armor cycle, um, the Red Ranger Battleizer from Power Rangers um, Lightspeed Rescue, which is actually on my sketchbook because I got to finish that up. Adding, like, say, well, just a few more, got to add in, like, say, well, my own color pencils onto my own sketchbook so that way I can finish that up, especially around, like, say, well, tonight, this um, Wednesday morning. After that, I can, like, say, well, resume where I left off by working on some more artwork sketches so I'm not gonna say exactly what I'm gonna work on but you'll see so the most important thing of course you know in life is to not to try like say you know well rush into everything so quickly though because I know full well I can't like say you know be doing this full record doing like say well doing this video recording of this um, this moon out here and then you know working on and then, you know, trying to work on, you know, my artwork sketches all at the same time. 
so. The and plus, the same also goes like, say, you know, well, the video game um, live streaming, even using that YouTube gaming app. Even the app itself still hasn't been fully been updated. But like I said, but the, the yeah, but speaking about the YouTube gaming app, the only flaw to which that app really just has is that, well, whenever, here's one thing, but whenever I try to, like, say, you know, begin live streaming um, any other PS1 game or, you know, from Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, you know, like the original retro emulators, for some odd reason, that app, of course, just usually just suddenly just crashes even at the even at the very beginning, which says unknown stream such as like unknown stream error has occurred. And sometimes it like I said, and sometimes it just you and like I said, but sometimes it just does that. And I kind of hate it when that when the YouTube gaming app just does that, really. And speaking about YouTube, what the app itself really needs, of course, is to stop having all of these ads, like, all at once. Because I'm like, here's one thing, I'm, I'm scrolling around, like, say, you know, well, every other YouTube channel. As I'm scrolling through, I'm noticing, like, say, well, you know, a bunch of them, like, you know, just everywhere. I mean, who's ideal? I mean, okay, I mean, no offense, but... As for the developers, I mean, whose idea was it to have all of these ads in the first place? I mean, number one, it's complete. I mean, number one, it's like you know, it's very uncomfortable, really. And I can tell that you know everybody else, you know, mostly on the reviews I've been checked that I just checked on um, Google Play Store just yesterday. You know, they too are also having like say you know, some like I said, you know, a few like I said, but some of them are actually having the very same complaints about it. And, you know, it's just complete. And I know, and to be honest with you, it's absolutely ridiculous. They just need to, like, say, you know, well, just try to get the whole thing just, you know, fixed up and done. That's all. So I have an idea. How's about, like, say, well, no more ads for, you know, for the YouTube app. So I'm just being, you know, completely honest about you. Just being open and honest about, you know, how I feel about this. But as for the PS1 Classic Edition, it's amazing, you know. Like I say, you know, it's really amazing, you know. They actually have, you know, this miniature size of a PS PlayStation 1. But 20 games, of course, just isn't enough. They really should, like I said, but, you know, they really should include, like, say, you know, a lot of games so onto it. Like, you know, like, I don't know, like Metal Gear Solid, VR Emissions, Siphon Filter 2... Siphon Filter 3, maybe, let's see, Star Trek, or, you know, any, like, you know, any other, though. That's all. So, let's see, there's a bunch of stars, especially out here, above these skies tonight, but I don't really see any airplanes flying, flying around out and about. Oh, excuse me, I just burped. My bad. Ugh. Yeah, so, you know, tonight out here is like, so, you know, it's really, let me see, but, you know, tonight out here is like, you know, um, it's really, like I said, you know, it's really nice and cool out here. That's all. Everything's peace and quiet out here tonight, so, especially around, you know, this Wednesday morning, so, I can definitely hear, like, say, you know, just cars, you know, revving up from a distance, so... Hold up. Hold up. I'm trying to see if I can get a much clearer view. Okay, there it is. All right, so this is what I'm trying to focus on. Just the moon itself, but it's like, you know, to the far right. But like I said, but it's not actually on the, it's just rotated on the far right side. It was, like I said, but it was like, say, you know, well, above these skies on the right side just, well, a few minutes ago. 
no, not about a few minutes, but I think maybe about, I think maybe perhaps like, well, a couple of minutes. I don't know. But anyways, there it is right here. But anyways, here it is out here. You know. So, I mean, okay, so let's see. Right now, I just noticed, like, say there's like, well, just a couple of small clouds. Not too many. That's a relief. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, there was something else, too. And speaking about the Damon PS2 Pro um, emulator, on the other hand, I actually, um, I went on to Google, took a look on, the fi and I went on to, like, say, well, I went on to Facebook, which was actually on Google, and I found out, of course, that um, the developers, according, like I said, but according to the develop, the Demon PS2 developers, they will be trying, like, say, well, you know, be updating the app starting around next year on February 2019, which to one to which they will be adding, like, say, well, a speed update, including, like, say, well, a Demon PS2 uh, one version, no, one point version four, no, one point, yeah, one point version. Not just 4, but to 1. version 5 on February 2019. But this, like I said, but this news was originally coming from two months ago, back on October 17, 2018. So I just kind of like saying, you know, I checked it out, though. I think this was around since Monday. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I th Yeah, this was around like what, since on a possibly maybe on a Monday afternoon at night. So... Just a heads up about that, but I am curious though. But why all of a sudden, you know, what the what the Damon PS2 Pro developers have to like say, you know, had to start update, had to like what update the app, leading all the way to February 2019. I mean, like, what's up? I mean, first off, number one, what's up with these developers? Like, really? You know, like I said, they should have just kept their promise. Like, say, you know, hey, you know. You know, they should have, like, hey, I mean, here's one thing. They should have, like, say, you know, just update the app, you know, since last month in November, you know, and then, you know, even around this month, because I know it's way past, like, say, what, maybe two or three weeks that they were supposed to be, like, say, what, updating this, uh, I mean, updating the, P the Damon PS2 Pro app emulator around this month before Christmas, you know, which includes, like, say, well, a texture fix, but... Well, despite everything else being, like I said, even still, they really should just keep their promises, like, really, and, st and you know, to stop waiting so long, like, what, going past, like, say, you know what, from what, like, you know, getting past, like, what, from one month to then two months have suddenly passed, and then, you know, waiting around for next year in February 2019, like, what's up with, seriously, though, I mean, what's up with people, like, what's up with people, like, really, you know, no disrespect, but on the real, it's just that, you know what, they really, like I said, they really should stick to the, here's one thing, they really should just stick to their promises, you know, and keep their word, you know, if they're going to, like, say, you know, try to fix something, of course, stick to that goal, that's all there is to it, you know, don't wait to, like, say, you know, about, like, what, you know, two months passing by, but I understand, you know, nobody's perfect, you know, so, like I said, I'm just, you know, just being honest about it, when I'm just, you know, when I'm really feeling it, what I'm saying, so. That's all. Yeah, but even still, but as for the P, like I said, but as for the PS One Classic Edition, twenty games, of course, alone. Like I said, but twenty all twenty games, of course, you know, including for Metal Gear Solid and for Siphon Filter, for Twisted Metal, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, possibly for Gran Turismo as well. Oh yeah, that's right. And plus, they also do. Ha they also have included um, Grand Theft Auto as well. The first Grand Theft Auto game, <laughs> you know, for the PS One. Still, yeah, but still, twenty. Like I said, but twenty games altogether are just not enough. That's the real reason why I decided, like, say, you know, just stick to, like, saying, you no, know, well, you know, playing, you know, the PS One emulators like the FPS E, or, or you know, like, well. The E P S X E PlayStation One emulators. You know, they like I said, they actually they suit much better than well, the PS One Classic Edition though.
Okay, so let's see. So the weather out here is like, so you know, just basically just, well, let's see. So right now it's just basically cold, though. But it's a good thing I'm just wearing. It's a good thing I'm definitely wearing. See, like I said, but it's a good thing I'm like, you know, just wearing something to keep me warm, though. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> Yeah, but I wonder, okay, let me see, but speaking about these stars out here, I wonder how many there are. Okay, let me see, how many are there out here? I can see one here on the left, on the left side, above these skies tonight, and there are many more out here. Right above, right above the center of these skies here. Okay, so let's see, I count about, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, no, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and I think there's like say what 11 though yeah oh oh my bad sorry about that so I'm trying to focus like I said because I'm just trying to focus on this on um, this full moon though because I was about to say there was gonna be like say what another star out here that I just noticed and it was like, say, I was about to say it was going to be like, well, you know, 12 stars out here. But yes, but yes, this is actually what, you know, what I'm just currently just viewing, you know, out here. So that's all. Like I said, you know, this full moon out here is like, say, you know, like I said, she's really beautiful, though. Like very, like so beautiful. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let me um, zoom out and see what's going on. Oops, my bad, my bad. Okay. Cause I'm like, my God, like, okay, here's one quite, or, or here's something else I'm just curious about. Why in the world do a full moon, of course, during like, you know, you know, every um, mid month, do they always have to appear like this? And they always like say no, Rotate, of course, directly on the far right side, such as, like, you know, where this one is currently at. I mean, it doesn't even make any sense. All right, so let's see. All right. Okay, let's see. I just had to make sure, well, the video is not too blurry, so. Okay, let's see. Okay, I see this speckle of a star right here. There it is. Hold up. Let me just try and stay perfect. Let me try and stay still. Okay, there it is. There's a star out here. It looks tiny, but I can clearly just see it. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's there. It's not moving, but... I'm just trying to... Here's one thing. I'm just staying still, but... Star out here is like, say, it just appears and then disappears, but it's clearly there, so I can clearly see it. And speaking about these clouds, hold on, let me focus on the right side. Where are you? Okay, there you are. All right, there's, all right, there's the, the full moon out here, so let me just zoom. Okay, let's see. Oops. Okay. Okay, so I'm using full magnification here. 4.0 times zero. And there, there's the full moon out here. But my, but man, oh man. Okay. Instead of like, say, you know, being, having some clouds around. Hold up. Okay, now I'm holding it, of course, with my left hand. Because my right hand is like, say, you know, it's basically getting, it's basically just getting cold though, so. Just trying to keep it warm. Let's see. Okay, hold up. All right, let me try and stay still though. Let's see what's going on. But yeah, but even still, it's a good thing I managed to make it here. 
make it up here, just make it here just in time to catch this full moon, though, before it, like, say, well, you know, disappears, usually, later on, especially around, you know, at this time of night, so, that's all, so, good thing I managed to make it, make it up here. Yeah, but like I said, but speaking about, you know, YouTube and it's not to mention all other um, pop-up ads, of course, I can also, yes, I can, yes, like I said, you know, I understand, you know, it's like, say, you know, it's really nerve-wracking, you know. Happens, like I said, it happens like this on an everyday basis, and despite of it being updated, it's just, you know, the it's really, you know, the ads, it's really, you know, just the ads itself that's just really making everything worse. Not the YouTube app itself, but... It's really just the ads. Okay, let me see. Can I get a much clearer view here? Okay. Because, like I said, because, you know, despite the fact, like I said, because, you know, due to, like, say, you know, the weather out here currently being, you know, very cold, though, I mean, very chilly, as you might, as you might say, call it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to like say, oh, uh, get a much clearer view here. So that's all I'm just doing. All right, there. Okay, there it is. I see it. Even from a distance, this full moon out here, like I said, but even from a distance, this full moon out here is like, say, you know, it looks so tiny though, even from a distance. Oh, yeah, there's one more thing, though, too. Um, by the way, um, let me see. Let's see. I'm trying. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Oh yeah, let me see. What was I about to say? Cause I was just trying to remember though. No, not. I'm not trying to remember. I'm just. I just remember it though. Um, but yeah. But speaking about you know, um, a celebrity um, actress and comedian named Penny, who also um, who also appeared you know on a, on a TV in a com comedy show, um, comedy TV show, Laverne and Shirley. Yeah, I've actually well found. I actually well l learned, of course, that she had just well passed away. Um, had just passed away at her home peacefully, of course, due to, like, say, well, complications from diabetes, so. So, you know, to be honest with you, I'm really sorry to hear about what happened. Yeah, because I found, yeah, because the truth is, I found out about this, you know, really since yesterday in the afternoon, and then I went on to, like, say, what, to Google, and then on to, like I said, because I went on to Google checked on TMZ twice and then I went on to um Wikipedia and then I just well suddenly found out about this so yeah you know my heart it's so like I say but you know my like I said but you know my heart my heart really goes out to like say you know well her family and friends because I mean, because to be honest with you, I, actually, I remember um, watching, watching Penny, of course, you know, on this. Let me see, on the TV series um, Laverne and Shirley, a long time ago when I was um, a little kid. I think this was around sometime around, like say, what in the early 1990s, really. Okay, hold up a moment, because this full moon out here shouldn't be expanding this big. So I think it's the camera. Let me see. I think it's the the video recordings on um, camera's image, of course, that's doing that. So 
Okay, that's much more like it. Because I'm only just using, like, because right now I just zoomed out using 1.9 times magnification now. So I had to make sure, well, it wasn't, well, expanding. The full moon itself out here wasn't expanding that big. But as I was saying, um, I remember watching um, Laverne and Shirley, like, say, what, a few episodes a long time ago, way back when I was just a kid, really. But after, like I said, but after learning what happened to her, you know, except but after, you know, finding out the news just yesterday about what happened to her, man, you know, that, like I said, you know, this is just, you know, this is just totally unfair. I mean, life is just way too short. And I keep asking, you know, I keep asking myself, it's like, you know, why on, why on earth do all of these things be happening, like, always be happening to so many good people like her in the world? Doesn't even, I mean, like, none of this makes any sense. Ugh. Worst case scenario, like I said, in the worst case scenario, it can, like I said, it just, it usually just happens, like, say, you know, unexpectedly. To which neither of us could have, like, say, would have, would have known. But even still, I'm really sorry to hear about what happened. But yeah, I did, like I said, but yes, I you know I just suddenly found out she was that she was actually like that Penny was um, the godmother to um, Carrie to Carrie Fisher's daughter um, Billy Lord. Just trying to pronounce her name right. I mean, her last name right, though. Yeah, just suddenly... Yeah, because I was just reading up on that since on... I said, yeah, because like I said, I was just reading up on that while on Google since yesterday in the afternoon. Yeah, like I said, the weather... Like I said, the weather out here is like, you know, it's... Like I said, the weather out here is like, you know, it's cold. Like I said, it is just, you know, chilly out here, straight up. Ah, hold up for a moment. Let's see, can I zoom? Okay, there it is. All right, let me see. All right, let me zoom in. There it is. <sighs> All right, so the clouds, of course, must have um, dissipated. I um, must have dissipated anyway. But there are a few more of them on the far right side out here tonight, around the skies. No, yeah, around the skies, of course, on the far right side. So, let me see. Okay, there it is. All right, so let's see. So what I'm gonna do next, of course, is that um, as soon as after I'm done doing this video recording on this full moon out here tonight, I'm gonna like say what um, resume where I left off working on my artwork sketches, because I'm gonna finish up work. Because I gotta finish up adding my color pencils on um, the trans armor cycle, armor mode, um, on the Red Ranger metalizer from Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, and then. Like I said, and after that, I'm going to try and, like, say, well, you know, um, resume, resume, like, say what, adding some more, I'm going to resume, like, say what, coloring some more drawings on my sketchbook. But 
But my God, I mean, like, I mean, here's one th main thing, though. I mean, look at, I mean, just look at how many, how many stars out there are, <laughs> how many stars out there really are. I mean, like, how, I mean, like, how, how cool is this? All right, so I th okay, so let's see, cause I'm just checking on the clock. Up, up. Let's see, cause I'm just checking out the checking up checking on the clock, and it's almost like say, and I'd say that it's almost like say, well, 2 a.m. though. I think it's like what, 1:57 a.m. or 1:58. And my let me see. And my left hand is starting to base it. It's starting. It's really starting to get cold, though. Even while I'm, even while I'm holding my um my phone's camera. Oh, hold on. my bad, my bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, I see a hare out here tonight. There it is. He's just basically just hopping out, hopping out here on the far right side here in this backyard. Because I knew I saw something moving, though. Okay, there he is. I can't see him here on this camera, though, but he's out there. All right, stay tuned, everyone. I will be back.